Hey y'all, hope everyone is doing well. All right, so we have a stator here and we've got coffer windings. Today I'm going to do something that I have never done before. And this idea came from somebody who watched my video and I, I can't remember his name, but he was telling me that if you remove the insulating sleeves, you can push this copper out through the grooves. So no cutting is required. So we're gonna give that a try. Now you can see here is the insulating sleeve. And if I turn this, you can see here is the other part of the insulating sleeve. They are two pieces. So this is a U-shaped. And then this is another little U-shaped. These are the ones we want to remove. Now, you can sometimes these will not come out sometimes they will get a hold of it with a pair of pliers get that wire out of the way and there you see we can pull that out now we want to work from the inside out so we are going to work on this coil we'll trace it back and that's the the next one that we want to grab pull that out and then you just wiggle that wire make sure I'm grabbing the right thing here trying to do this so y'all can see without my hands getting in the way now we just flip it over and we'll grab that coil. Now there's always going to be one still attached because it goes to another coil. So we just clip that. And there's a little bit of copper. Okay, now sometimes it can be kind of hard to grab a hold of the insulating piece. And so what you can do is just push down on it. Let's we'll push a couple here. Well, that one's sticking up. I'm going to try pulling that. That one pulled out. So when you push them down, on the other end, here's one that I pushed. Now you can grab a hold of it. So if there's if there's not enough sticking out here, that one's gonna be difficult. I will push that down, flip it over, and then now there's more material for me to grab a hold of. Just like that. So let's do another one. We are going to go and do this row right here. Pull that one out, trace it over, pull that one. We'll just get them started coming out of the grooves just like that flip it over give it a nice little tug there and there it is let me go ahead and get the rest of the insulating sleeves out because you probably got a good idea about that now and then we'll come back and we'll finish pulling all this copper out okay I got all the insulating sleeves out now it's just a matter of going section by section and getting that copper to get into the grooves. And we'll just pull that copper right on out. Get some of these. Oh, whatever wants to come with me, I'm going to take it. You can see, I mean, it, it just, it pulls right out, like, no big deal at all. All right, let's get, do some of the, the thicker ones. I think the key is to not try to get too many at one time to pass through the grooves. You just kind of, you know, be patient and just do a few at a time 
yeah, I try to do too many right there. It's, there we go. There we go. Just flip that over, give that a little tug. Now, if you're in the business scrapping and making a living, um, yeah, you're, you're probably not gonna spend your time doing this because obviously time is money for you. But for us hobby scrappers, I don't know, it's pretty cool. I like it. I just like trying new methods, you know. It just keeps it fresh and exciting. I, I just love scrapping. I just, I really, really love everything about scrapping. Ah, that is all right. They're like a clump of lacquer on that one. It's, everything is stuck. Stuck, I tell you. There we go. Get a little broken free. Slow down here a little bit and There we go. I don't know why this last one is being really kind of a, a booger. It's a problem child. Being very difficult. Yeah, that was probably me as a kid. I still have a mouth on me. It's something I gotta work on. Okay. The end is truly in sight. Put this bad boy over. And get them wires removed. Put that out of the way. There she is. I'll be darned. All right, y'all. There you saw it. That brand new method. No cutting required. I've got to say, I actually like that. Um, I did struggle at moments, but I think that's just part of learning something new. This may not be an option for you. It's not the fastest option out there, but the pros are is there's no cutting required. So I'm not using up my cutting disc. I'm not making copper dust everywhere. I'm not breathing in copper dust because that stuff is deadly. And I just like trying new things and showing people different ways of doing things so they can make a decision for themselves. Well, I thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you do like this video, I'd ask that you would hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, I'd ask that you consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for being here. God, thank you for another wonderful day. Thank you for this rain. Lord, I know we're all sick of winter, but the rain is good. We'll be so thankful when it comes to summer. So I thank you, God. Lord, I just lift up everyone who is watching this video to you now, and I pray, God, that you will bless them. You will bless them abundantly, Lord. Whatever it is that's going on with their life, God, I just ask that you will heal them, you'll answer their prayers, you'll give them the breakthroughs that they need, the miracles that they're looking for, and just heal their bodies, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the next video.